On July 21, 1981, a month after the onset of the nationwide resistance movement to overthrow Iran's theocratic dictatorship, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, NCRI, was founded in Tehran as an alternative to the clerical regime. July 21 also marks the anniversary of the 1952 anti-Shah uprising in Iran in support of Democratic Prime Minister Dr. Mohammad Mossadegh. The NCRI is a democratic coalition of Iranian opposition organizations and personalities who strive for the establishment of a democratic, free, and non-nuclear republic in Iran. It was founded based on the democratic principles of rejecting both the Shah and the Mullahs. The NCRI categorically rejects regimes that rely on torture, uh, murder, plunder, treachery, and deprivation of people. In 1993, Mrs. Maryam Rajavi was elected by the NCRI during its plenary session as the provision, president of provisional government for the period of transferring sovereignty to the people of Iran. The People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, PMOI, also known as the Mujahideen Akhal MEK, is Iran's largest and most organized opposition group and the principal member of the NCRI. As a democratic alternative to the clerical regime, the NCRI has adopted several plans for the transitional period, including peace plan for the Iran-Iraq war that was adopted in March 1983, the plan for autonomy of Iranian Kurdistan in November 1983, the plan for freedoms and rights of women in April 1985, plan of provisional government's relations with religion in Iran in November 1985, plan of National Solidarity Front to overthrow the religious dictatorship ruling Iran in November 2002. The NCRI's democratic credentials are embodied in Mrs. Rajavi's 10-point plan, which envisions affirming the people's sovereignty in a republic founded on universal suffrage and pluralism gender equality, separation of religion and state, freedom of religion and beliefs, support for peace in the Middle East, autonomy for Iranian nationalities and ethnicities, and adherence to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Mrs. Rajavi's 10-point plan, described as Jeffersonian by former U.S. National Security Advisor General James Jones, has received global endorsement from over 4,000 lawmakers, including 34 parliamentary majorities in 50 countries around the world, 137 former heads of state or government, ministers, ambassadors, and heads of international organizations, and 80 Nobel laureates.